Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Kathy Feigl's 1000 subscriber YouTube celebration and hop. So we all decided to play along to celebrate this milestone with Kathy Feigl and I will have the link to everybody playing along down below. And we're all gonna scrap lift one of Kathy's um, creations. So I chose that one right there. If you could see with the cute little puppy dog. And I'm going to make a double page layout out of that in my son's 8x8 uh, graduation album. So instead of polka dots, I'm going to take a star stencil here and some close to my heart inks. And I just have my cheapo blender brush there that I picked up at the dollar store. So I do grab the ink in Ruby. And I just, I'm going to run it all down the edge. And I'm actually going to create two bands one on each page because it's a double page layout and these are 8x8 and Kathy's was a 12x12 12 12. and she did do this for our mixed media frenzy um, Friday one of them so I have another layout that's similar to it but not in this album and I really liked it and I wanted to do it again so woo, woo. there we go there are the first stars I'm going to go ahead and pull that off and I'm going to go ahead and bring in my second page I'm trying to figure out where I'd like it to be. I do want to take this time to congratulate Kathy on the 1,000 subscribers. I have been a viewer of hers for quite some time, so I'm not shocked that she reached 1,000 because <laughs> she cracks me up. And if you guys have not subscribed over to Kathy's channel, please take this time when my video is done to click on the link of hers down below and become a subscriber and give her some love because she creates the funnest layouts I love she's made a rain. I mean, I see one where she made a reindeer. She has a lot of fun mixed media layouts. And she cracks me up. She's really funny as well. So now I take this big old circle stencil. And my sapphire ink pad's like extremely messy. So I was trying to clean it up there. And I'm going to create a band of circles all the way across the page. Now, had I actually measured this out, it wouldn't have turned out. <laughs> but I'm okay. I like the way it turned out. So in Kathy's original layout, she has three hearts that span across her page. So I'm just going to go ahead and do four circles, two on each page, and I'm going to connect this one. But I'm just putting on a nice amount of ink. And I really like using the blender brushes um, as opposed to the foam pads. It, it applies, I mean, you have to work it a lot more. You have to make very <laughs> many, many more passes. But... I just, I like it a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the second page here. And then I'm like going to put them together. And like I said, I could have just done this all at the same time. But I just really want to get that part right there. And I've got my non-stick uh, mixed media page down. So that cleans up very nicely. And now I'm just going to go ahead and... Do two more. I'm going to wipe that piece up right there. I did pull out my stamp chamois from Stampin' Up. Stampin' Up. Close to my heart. That one could be from Stampin' Up, though. I'm not real sure because I've got some close to my heart ones. I've got a Firefly one. <sighs> so I And I am just going over the red hearts as well. Um, I do like the way that this layout turned out. And I'm going to do it one more time. This is a very quick video today. Um, not a lot of bells and whistles that I put. Uh, Kathy's original layout does have a lot of fun embellishments. But since it was for my son's graduation album, I really didn't put any like flowers or anything. I have already cut my photos down. And it's a two-page spread. So I'm going to put four photos on this. And this is my son opening up his presents. Uh, some of his presents from his party. And, and I'm at it on some black card stock. I am almost done with my son's layout. I'm going to have a layout, or a layout, my son's album. Words are hard today. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm going to do a layout share of that coming, an album share of these layouts coming up. Oh, my word. I've already voiced this over like three different times. I'm not going to do it again, guys. So I'm just going to layer them up on there. And my son is looking in all different wonky directions. And so I'm just going to go ahead and make them work. I'm going to have the one where he's looking off the page. It look like he's looking at his other picture. I get these two on here as well. 
And I did not use any kind of gesso or anything to prep my screen because it's just a stencil and ink. Um, if I do a lot of mixed media, um, I normally do. But when I'm using just a you know stencil and some ink and doing some pretty patterns through the stencil, I tend to not at all use the gesso because the ink smears and I get it everywhere. I do take this cute little tag that says congratulations. I cut it in half and I'm going to span it all the way across the page. Yes, it is sticking off the top, but I'm okay with that because I really want it to, I like things that stick out of the top of my album and I've only had one so far, so I had to get another, at least one more in there so it doesn't look silly. I take this, the tassel was worth the hassle, little plastic piece there that was part of his um, graduation party uh, decorations and I just get a, a couple more of these um, stickers and uh, embellishments on the page because after I'm done with this album I will not have any need for any kind of graduation stuff so I'm trying to use it all up uh, my um, stepdaughter yes she will be graduating but that's not for like three and a half years so you guys know I'm not going to hold on to it for that long and she goes to a different school than he did so I am just going to go ahead and pop all of these around. Now my video is quickly coming to an end. So if you liked my layout and you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button down below if you have not already. Do not forget to hop on down in the description box and see all the links that for all the other participants that are playing along celebrating Kathy and her wonderful milestone of a thousand subscribers. And if you have not liked or... Um, subscribe to any of their channels do that as well and yeah that's gonna do it I'm gonna go ahead and trim that little tassel up right there and we are gonna call it a day I'm gonna have a couple close-ups for you guys and you can see all the fun mixed media and all the close-ups that I've got going on so I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video bye